हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस वीक्स एपिसोड ऑफ द ऑथर कोलैबोरेटिव एज ऑलवेज आई एल बी टॉकिंग टू एन ऑथर हुज बुक आई हैव रिसेंटली रेड एंड एन्जॉयड माय गेस्ट फॉर टुडे इज हाय अनामिका हाय ऑफ वर्ड्स एंड ब्लूज हाय संगीता येस सो माई गेस्ट फॉर टूडे इज़ अपर्णा सलवी एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हर बुक द लेबरेंस ऑफ साइलेंस आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड टू टॉक टू हर बिकॉज शी हैज़ जस्ट अ जनरल वेरी पॉजिटिव और अराउंड हर एंड आफ्टर रीडिंग हर बुक आई बिकेम अ फैन ऑफ हर राइटिंग ऑल्सो सो आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टू टॉक टू हर अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर बुक एंड अबाउट हर राइटिंग जर्नी एंड ऑल्सो अबाउट हर अदर प्रोफेशन सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी रियली फन एपिसोड टू स्टे ट्यून्ड we also already have aparna here so i'm just going to invite her and hopefully without any glitches we should be able to start the episode hi uh, aparna if you are here uh, i have sent you an invitation see if you are able to accept it hi monica hi sangeeta so we are going to talk about aparna's book the labyrinth of silence and my book heart strings and harmonies uh, it's going to be really fun episode i am very excited to talk to aparna how she wrote the book how the characterization came about and what her writing has taught her so far it's going to be tips and tricks all around and experience is sharing so do stay tuned uh up now what is the issue if you can let me know in the comments i will send you an invitation again uh, just let me know okay you can't see my request this strange okay i i am sending out another request okay i have sent you a fresh request hi yashashwini hi nilshri nice seeing you here okay uh hi 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 so i am not able to see you i'm just going to confirm with the audience if they are able to see both of us uh those of you who are with us just let us know in the comments if both of us are visible on the screen so hi hi upon now welcome welcome to the author collaborative very excited to have you as a guest thank you thank you manali looking forward to our discussion gupshap and i yes. think we are all ready with our tea cups afternoon <laughs> tea evening tea sorry uh, uh evening for you it's still afternoon for me so it's a uh, a lunch time for me <laughs> okay uh okay so we have the audience confirming that they can see both of us yes. wonderful so before we start the conversation tell the audience about yourself um so myself uh, my name is dr aparna sarvi nagda i am a practicing homeopath uh, i am also a biology uh, lecturer i love to teach mm. biology and apart from that uh, i i have written this book called the labyrinth of silence which is my first full length novel before that i had written one um, novel called i mean a novel are called as not so grave on kindle mm. so these are two of my chota chota books and uh, writing is something that i hold very very dear to my heart uh, that is all about me uh, uh, manali i mean Uh, and you can see me a lot on social media i love to be on social media share my stories whatever i feel or whatever disturbs me whatever excites me i put it on social media so that i have a community with whom i am growing currently so that is all about me that's wonderful and uh, we are going to talk about one book in particular of yours which i have read and i absolutely enjoyed it uh, before i talk about that book i'm just going to show the cover to the audience first it is this book the labyrinth of silence and what an absolutely amazing book so first of all the characters i mean we are going to discuss that later much in detail but i want to tell you how much i love all the three characters in fact even the supporting characters i loved so much i there were a few instances instances where i was rooting for the supporting characters to have more space in the story but then of course you, we can't expect that uh so kudos on that and what a what an absolutely wonderful story 
of self discovery of trying to find your roots and then coming back to your roots it's amazing so clap from me uh, i don't think i will need the evening tea now for at least a week i'm full with your appreciation <laughs> <laughs> very very happy to appreciate good writers and good stories always and it's uh, even more uh, so because you know uh, a story where you have talked about something and in, in detail and then there is the, there are these characters who are so much consumed by their silence that the silence around them makes the story more interesting so yeah that's one of the things that i absolutely uh, love I, I wish Manali that kind of silence I had when I actually wrote the book, or you know, for my future <laughs> book. <laughs> But uh, unfortunately, there is not much of a silence. There are people all around. There is a lot of cacophony, uh, yeah. noise around me while I'm writing. Yeah, I I can totally relate to that. <laughs> so before before I ask my questions to you, I want to read out a particular passage from the book. Go ahead. A few passages Go ahead. actually. Go ahead. That I. actually i have highlighted all throughout the book so many passages that i it was hard for me to pick out one but this is one particular uh, instance in the entire book where i was like oh my god she understands <laughs> because you are a writer yourself you have talked about storytelling and you that was my sometimes you know you have to stop your own voice from coming it but somehow it creeps into the writing your your oh, voice you know as a writer or if i'm writing a story about a doctor then as a doctor that my personal opinions sometimes creep in sometimes i um, remove it i ed- while editing i just you know cross it out but uh, this particular certain things i just let it them you know there be as as such i won't be able to voice out my opinions otherwise maybe through my characters yeah. i would be able to you know say something that is too true Yes, and yes. When I read this, I also got a hint that you know she's not she's talking about health herself through the characters, and I could absolutely relate to that particular feeling. Okay, so without further ado, I'm just going to read out the particular part that we have you know talked about so much. This is from uh, chapter number twenty-two, and it goes like this: On the fertile land of Baknur, there was no dearth of food, but certainly it lacked food for the soul. Irish, the architect who took pride in building houses, now took pleasure in building stories to numb his grief and eradicate the sleepy villagers' slumber. In his stories, the children danced, men and women dreamed, while the peddler remained addicted. Stories are healers; they are menders. They are the inspiration to the proverbial wisdom: "A stitch in time saves nine." Stories are stitches that knit. the torn edges and broken hearts they are the ointments on abrasions and ice on burns stories are the angels that scare the demons of grief they heal the storyteller and the listener the hero and the villain the god and his human stories encompass the distraught like a sheep cuddling her lambs under her massive warm belly in the frost of life stories comfort the blue mind Girish narrated stories of nomads, speaking gods, walking trees, jumping bats, staring bats, hanging stars, and the peeping moon. The strange stories of the stranger attracted the rusty villagers, cooped up in their small huts. His charm hypnotized the cattle, and their neck bells sang on his arrival. In the cattle shed, the stories came to life. Absolutely wonderful! One of the- my most favorite bits from the entire book thank you thank you thank you manali <laughs> okay so uh, based on my reading and because i am such a curious soul i have a few questions for you that i want to ask should, should we start yes yes absolutely yes uh, i'm just going to pull up the questions here because my first question obviously had to be about the characters but i just want to make sure i ask the question correctly This is such a beautiful development in the character and a poetic offering from our author, who can be clinically razor sharp in her stories. Anamika has uh, complimented your storytelling. She is very cute. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> and actually, yeah, this is a beautiful development in the character. Uh, 
and uh, here is where you know we see girish's other side which is you know i don't know where he, it was lying from for for the story before that but here is where i felt for girish very deeply my work up was getting over <laughs> manali so i had to wrap him up <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay coming back to my question okay so uh i want to ask you take us to the characterization of these three characters there is girish we have muki and then uh, in the later part of the book we have kashi take us to the characterization of these three characters and whose story did you start it out as and were you able to follow it through or did the other characters you know somewhere in the middle they were vying for their own space and they wanted their, their story in it too tell us through that process also okay so uh, it started with muki as the book starts it the story starts with muki it ends with muki it has muki's shades it has muki's presence okay see so you will not have muki saying something or expressing her opinion but you know that she is there and she is a witness to to all that is happening in the book so uh it, the story starts with uh, muki and she is uh, you know she has this strength inbuilt in her she is the kind of person who is binding all these characters together so and she even binds the book together you know she brings all of it together at the in the last chapter yeah. so muki is the first character i started with and then it was girish um girish is a very very depressed character he is a uh, very upset with what has happened in his life he has not been able to express so he is a negative character who who is helpless you know mm. you find the kind of helplessness uh, the kind of there is indifference helplessness there is uh you know as he has put a stop to his life he he feels he is just existing he isn't living so uh, his character was the most difficult for uh, me to write and uh, it took me 6 months to come out of his character so that i could progress on to kashi's character so uh, he was he behaved like a very obstinate child with me you know uh, not leaving me his grief his trauma did not leave me for a long time and whenever i start whenever i used to sit and write kashi's chapter the same voice the same kind of melancholy used to creep in into her chapter whereas if you see kashi is a very bubbly free spirited mm-hmm. kind of girl so 6 months break and then i uh, sat and wrote kashi's part so kashi is um, you know uh, she's somewhere like you i don't care about what happens in the world <laughs> i'm going to take my uh, risk i am going to take uh, you know i this is my life i own it i'm going to follow this path come what may <laughs> manali can you see a twin there <laughs> sorry can you can you you see a uh, uh, can you I see a twin could, a little bit yes i could yeah so she feels that whatever decision she takes right or wrong she is responsible for mm. it uh, so that is how so mukhi is somebody who is very patient silent a uh, kind of a person who uh, you know reasons out before she says or does something mm. kashi is bank opposite of her mm. very impulsive uh, very much free spirited maybe that is what her age and her circumstances have mm. done to her and then there is narmada who has lot of hope lot of expectations she is very lively but the way she goes on a high she comes back i mean mm. she goes to the depths of depression also that very easily yeah she is somebody who has uh you know who for whom everything has been so sudden life for her has been very very sudden and she has not been able to deal with it so uh, these are those the four main characters and there is kusu who is mm. this vindictive mind mm. uh, but somewhere you know if you read kusu deeply you will have at least a 2% of sympathy yeah, yeah. for this woman because Then, she yeah. has a even her character and, evokes a little bit of empathy yes that's that's definitely there So you feel little bit for her, but not much, because you feel that uh, you know, as a woman, she could have prevented many, many things that are happening. If something happens to me, I will not. I will see to it that it does not go to my yeah. next generation. Okay, but, but she is. Yeah, she is like one of those uh, typical uh, uh, women that are shown in the K series and the typical Hindi serials that used to come in the nineties and early two thousand. जहाँ पे यू नो मेरे साथ हुआ है तो किसी के साथ अच्छा क्यों हो? 
मुखी Okay. she was a, a household's daughter uh, and i basically come my maternal grandmother comes from belgaum so belgavi which is they are called so i have spent a lot of my vacations there and this girl used to visit our house for cleaning purposes so i don't know somewhere that character was there in my head and okay. uh, the second character girish uh, it is not named by me girish was named by my dear friend natasha so uh, there was some nadan name to this character so but we wanted uh, we did not want to reveal the identity of uh, that particular character so i mean the real name so when i wrote the book i used that person's real name but later on we changed it so it was um, natasha who gave the name girish and uh, because she likes that uh, actor girish karnath and she says okay. this fellow is your you know? yeah so girish was named by her kashi because i uh, <clears throat> if you see, if uh, if you have read it in you know if you understand it is narmada who names kashi it is through narmada's process yeah. when narmada is naming her child she says you will not be narmada you will not be kaveri you will not be godavari you will not be any river who is giving hmm. okay or who is you know, just flowing passively <laughs> and taking up people's sip you will be kashi because people will come to you to find their nirvana to find their prarabdha so uh, uh, that is how kashi was named through when i was writing narmada that process came to me automatically and that is how narmada think that mm-hmm. all that what she has not been able to do her daughter will do it and her daughter will uh, not be like her you know passive mm-hmm. accepting like a river flows on and on metaphorically mm-hmm. uh, she will be kashi so kashi is where you know uh, people go to find meaning in life they seek forgiveness for their sins so that is why the name kashi and that is how girish receives his nirvana through uh, kashi yeah oh wonderful we also have a question for arm of words and blues uh, they are asking after publication did a re- reader review help you learn something new about your book or yes. the characters something yes. you hadn't known or realized before the publication no after after publication um, i think uh, munira danal ma'am was the first she you know she read my book and uh, she kept you uh, know chapter wise she kept on sending me and she was sending me good reviews and when she read girish uh, she hmm. said aparna this is i can't take this particular part you should have you know uh, split it into two or given a break somewhere to the reader uh, then my own uh, my teacher my medical college teacher dr sonal kothari ma'am she also said that girish is too negative it comes it's jarring at some time sometimes you want to put away the book because you can't bear with the pain mm. so yes these were few comments that uh, or you know reviews that i received after publishing or after people read that they said that part was too overwhelming for them uh, that is how you know okay uh sangeeta has uh, commented that you wrote the wrote it in three parts all separately yes yes sangeeta yes yes sangeeta okay. hi sangeeta uh i hope she is awake and she is listening to us poor girl i, I have made her sit and watch this show <laughs> uh so i guess i have written it as a three separate parts uh, i took some mukhi and girish was written in one flow because i started this as a, a part of novella writing which is happening on penmancy now mm-hmm. so i started it as a novella uh, i finished mukhi's part as a part of novella okay. uh, my uh, very close friend and the uh, a developmental editor of this book monica told me apna this cannot stop here there has to be more to it mm-hmm. and uh, that when i went ahead with 
Girish and Kashi. So between Girish and Kashi, there was a break, but uh, Mukhi and Girish happened together. Um, one month and the next month Girish, next two months Girish, like that. Okay. Okay, and we have Sangeeta saying again, Ikta Kapoor creation. I think she's talking about, uh, about what I was saying. Natasha, uh, yes, thank you for naming Girish, uh, first of all, Natasha. And uh, after Girish Karnat, my favorite actor. Yes. <laughs> actor, writer, and award winner. Yes. Interesting process, Neil Sri Singh. And Anamika is saying very well named. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, my next question to you is moving on from this question and a lot of follow up questions. My next question to you is uh, the stories and the dreams in this particular entire book, uh, they have a lot of layers. We have, uh, they have been, you know, they are metaphorical and symbolic. So tell us, there's the, there's the gecko story where we know that you are talking about what happened with Girish in his childhood and then Gecko is that metaphor of what he went through and how he is dealing with it. And then we have the Karakoram story where uh, Kusum is talking about a girl who is not able to cry. But we know where it, what it is all about. And, and there, there are a few more but which I am not able to recall. And all of them are absolutely wonderful and they add so much layer to the story. We, we realize the depth of these characters and what each incident in that particular bit of the story means. So what gave you the idea of layering the story like this through metaphors? And do you think it always works? Do you think it lands where it is supposed to land? Uh, see, metaphors, I uh, it is not, not every reader can take it. Uh, even seasoned readers readers who read a lot of books, it becomes difficult. For me also, it can be very challenging if as a reader, if I'm reading a lot of metaphors. There were too many when I wrote it down. Uh, uh, while editing, I chopped off many of them, but I retained some uh, to, so that, uh, see, the topic that I'm dealing with is very, very sensitive. Certain things I did not want to say uh, directly, but I wanted to give you know, through metaphors to let the character's pain be felt. If I just plainly say that it was very painful for Girish, okay, you will say, okay. But if I tell you the story of Gecko and then I tell you how that resin is coming upon him and then how that resin is encompassing him and the way he's feeling breathless inside. Mm -hmm. Now, now you tell me how you feel about Girish. Me just saying that, uh, you know, his child was, was, was very painful in contrast to the nightmares that he is having and the description of this nightmares mm. that will leave a profound impact on you. You might not forget that particular incidence for a longer time. Mm. So that is why I used uh, metaphors. But yes, I don't feel every time this has to be used because the next book I'm writing, I have, I have given away those metaphors. They have to be locked. They have to be used very, very carefully. You know, they're very precious. So not always the system works. Yeah, and we we have proof of that because Anamika is asking you the Karakoram story. What does it symbolize? Hello? 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 Okay, did we lose her? Uh, because I was not able to see her anyway. In the comments, uh, can you let me know whoever is with us? What happened? Hello? Uh, I can hear you, Nilashri. Uh, sorry, uh, I can hear you, Manali. Uh, uh, OK. Uh, can't see Aparna. Somebody has confirmed it. What happened? Uh, did you lose connectivity or something? No, I'm here. I'm here. I can hear your voice. OK, she's uh, here. Yeah. Uh, I think your connection was lost because uh, we also have the audience confirming that they were not able to see you for a while. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Monica says I'm back. So, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> okay, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, Monica yes. says I'm back from wherever I am. Chalo, utho, likho, kind of thing. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, so, Anamika was uh, asking you about yeah. the Karakoram story. Karakoram, Karakoram. So, the Karakoram depicts the harshness in her surroundings, okay, the way her family has dealt with her. And the, uh, you know, there is a 
example where the tribe the tribe where she belongs they exchange uh, mules for girls mm. you know mules are more important to them than their own daughters mm. are and that valley that frozen atmosphere that sh- that depicts the harshness with which that girl has even if the girl has grown up okay so karakuram depicts the harshness the cold frozen attitude of her mm-hmm. family mm-hmm. and uh, the rituals of the tribe where they trade uh, mules for girls you know mule is a infertile uh, uh, animal born out of you know a, a horse and a donkey's cross breed मतलब क्या ही वैल्यू है उसका इन कंपैरिजन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इन कंपैरिजन टू नहीं तो पीटा वाले मेरे पर अभी आके कार्रवाई करेंगे तो इन कंपैरिजन इन कंपैरिजन टू देयर डॉटर्स दे फील डॉटर्स आर अ लोड टू देम वेयर एज म्यूल कैन कैरी देयर लोड ओके डॉटर्स कैन नॉट सो दैट इज हाउ हर पेरेंट्स हैव मैरिड हर ऑफ टू एन इंडिविजुअल सो देन दैट इज द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द कराकुरम स्टोरी ओके Wow, काफी काफी डीप यस आई आई गॉट द आई अंडरस्टूड द मेटाफॉर ऑफ द गर्ल बींग यू नो वेरी डिस्पेंसिबल बट द वे यू हैव एक्सप्लेन हाउ इट इज कम्पेयर टू अ म्यूल एंड दैट्स वॉट यू वॉन्टेड टू सिग्निफाई इट एज अनदर लेयर टू इट आई इन दैट फॉलो अप क्वेश्चन आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू आस्क अबाउट इन द सेम स्टोरी यू मैंशन दैट द गर्ल इज अनेबल टू क्राई वाई वॉज दैट she is also frozen no from within her upbringing is such that she she is not allowed to cry make a drama out of what she is missing in life she has to just carry on mm. so she is not able to cry because she is stiff and she is hardened from inside and that is what she wants to make her son also like that you know mm-hmm. tough hard stiff which i feel is so not necessary yeah. so she is and she feels that that tear drop is her son it is the love of her life mm-hmm. so if she weeps she will let go of that tear drop and she will lose her son oh. so she is holding on to the tears she is holding on to that tear drop and in that she is hold, she is doing a lot of damage to that tear mm-hmm. drop the tear drop does not want to stay with her it wants to escape out from her uh, eyes so that is the metaphor that i have used here where she is holding on to all her emotions she is also holding on to her silence and she is keeping that tear drop ki ye mera hai ye kahi nahi jayega mm-hmm. and the possessive man. wow uh, yeah anamika is also saying that, that is interesting yeah you just added another interesting bit to the story now i'll have to go back to that scene and read it in a new light probably <laughs> <laughs> Okay so that brings me to the end of the questions i had for you and my experiences related to your book you have also read my book yeah. heartstrings and harmony ab now i leave the floor ab, open to tumhari bari thakur so first uh, thing uh, manali is i want to appreciate you for the sheer courage the boldness that you show through your stories i have also mentioned it in my review that uh, uh, you know you don't follow a pattern or you there is a pattern you, you have followed a short story pattern but the kind of uh, liberty that you take to l- develop your characters i find it astonishing <laughs> like you know thank you uh, so first of all congratulations for doing that the second people mm-hmm. who published on kindle unlimited of kindle you know I, that is their attitude ki i i even i have published on kindle so i know where it comes from ki my writing is of utmost importance to me yeah. it will be important to the reader only when i attach value to it myself hai na ab main hi sochu ki mera book publish karne ke worth hai ki nahi ab main kaise publish karu acha should i publish or should i not publish that has to be thought by the reader let the reader come out let the reader say x y z things about the book but you go out you publish you make it available you never know who is waiting for those uh, stories you know so mm-hmm. on that note uh, uh, before i go i just want to your... i'm sorry. sorry for cutting before you go ahead i just want to show the audience what we are talking about so they get an idea we are talking about mm-hmm. this book heart strings and harmonies and uh, she has read it and she was just appreciating her experience of reading the book correct 
So, uh, yes, please. My my question to you is on the process that you have built, uh, Manali, and now that you are interviewing so many Indian authors, I want you to. Uh, you know, you really believe that people should be reading more of Indian authors. Why they should read more of Indian authors? Because you are reading so many, you you will have a lot of things to say about uh, them. Because you are interviewing practically one Indian author every week. So, what has been your experience, Manali, about it? Okay, firstly, I have to be honest. I have tried including foreign authors in this uh, episodes that I do in the show, but one of the reasons uh, I have been unable to do it because they are not very approachable. Uh, they do have that, you know, certain. I do. I don't want to say attitude, but they do have that certain, like you know, मुझे क्या ही फायदा है मैं आके क्या करूँगी? I will not be able to relate to it. Like they don't have an odd as audience. Uh, i would say probably they won't get an audience by talking to me on the show i don't know maybe that's one of the reasons i have tried and i have failed but yes i do focus a, a lot on indian authors in my reading also i have consciously tried not to read foreign authors uh, since 2020 and pure saal mein shayad main char ya panch books hi english authors ki padh rahi hu mostly it's mostly it's always english indian authors that i have been reading and in different genres not just uh, your uh, this fiction i have also read poetry and non fiction which is by in indian authors and one of the reasons for that was that while growing up i didn't have any exposure to indian writing and i found it very disappointing as i grew grew up and re read indian authors and realized ki ye bhi to acha hi hai why were why were foreign authors pushed on me so much as a child or when i was in school and college why why were indian authors not given that much promotion or exposure and why were we not told to read indian authors so that that was one of the reasons and since 2020 i have also consciously tried to read as many indie author indian new authors as possible jisko shayad itna log nahi jante hain jitna shayad ek chetan bhagat ko jante ho ya amish tripathi ko jante ho to i want these authors to get more recognition also and in the process also find new authors that i can become a fan of new authors whose works i can admire so yes these are the reasons kyunki unko bhi shayad meri tarah chahiye ki unka audience badhe and we can help each other grow in that manner that we can find newer audiences by connecting to each other correct so uh, i think you know uh, well how how people will know india is through the writings of uh, indian authors otherwise you know that uh, typical uh, image people have about it, india bhuka nanga india they call it okay uh, that so, also exactly i think so the only to that, that attitude i think i am sorry for cutting you out i just want to add it to add to my answer i think that attitude for me has also grown a little bit after becoming an nri I moved to the Netherlands in 2020, and I realized that you know India को इतना importance क्यों नहीं दे रहे हम लोग क्योंकि we also have all the things that these countries boast about, maybe more than them. So why are we not promoting those things? So, so yeah. when you wrote this book, uh, did you have this particularly in mind to include lot of local words in your? Uh, you know stories you have uh, songs bollywood songs coming up and you have uh, places and names of food uh, so uh, do you think it is essential that we include this in our books or do you feel that the global appeal of the book will be lost if we use lot of local terminologies like if you read a book um, by a chinese author or a russian author they are very liberal in using their own terms we, we have to sometimes they don't even have a glossary at the end of the book okay and uh, so do you think uh, it it hampers the global appeal of the book or it is okay to include local uh, terms and local words and local songs in the book uh, uh firstly uh, my major reason for doing that is because my roots belong there and i want to show my love for these things through my stories so ek reason to ye hai and second reason as you said uh, uh you know uh, keep when you are reading other authors from japan 
or somewhere else they they are very liberal with what uh, they are referring to in their own countries or the region from where they belong to and they they are like agar reader ko interest hai wo khud figure out karega why are we bothered meri story achhi hai so why would uh, i not include uh, you know the characters from that place or the things that i have grown up or am familiar with in the story to make it more authentic zaruri nahi hai ki main acha chalo मेरा कैरेक्टर शायद इंडियन है तो मैं जरूरी थोड़ी है कि मैं उसको यूएस में और बाहर ही दिखाऊं आई कैन प्लेस दैट कैरेक्टर इन अ वेरी रस्टिक प्लेस लाइक यू हैव डन बेलगाम इज अ प्लेस दैट यू नो पीपल प्रोबेबली केम टू नो थ्रू योर बुक ज्यादा लोगों को पता नहीं होगा इतना सो बट यू हैव इंक्लूडेड इट इन योर स्टोरी एंड दैट प्लेस इज इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ द कैरेक्टर्स थ्रू आउट द स्टोरी वी सी दैट and if we are able to do that and bring the story to life by adding authenticity of the place also into that story then why not uh, so not only does it add more to your story in the process you are also promoting the place where you are from where you have grown up and telling the audience that dekho uh, as a story writer this is what has happened in my life and this is what you know uh, probably help me become a better storyteller also so yeah that that's that's basically what i want to do through my writing right mm. nilashree is saying that fir to wo karan johar ho jayega na manali <laughs> our friends are having a gala time here <laughs> yeah they they are oh my god we have so we have so many comments coming in that we have missed <laughs> Oh, Sangeeta is saying we have six authors here. Wonder where are the readers? <laughs> we read each other and support each other. Exactly, exactly. Anna. That is why I I I asked my son to read because he is not interesting in writing. So I said, "Chalo, a reader he produce kar lete. Dunya ko a reader de dete hai. Writers ki koi kamy nahi hai." Exactly. And uh, yeah, I had no experience Indian authors. But exactly, why are we not promoting Indian authors? That 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 is one of the things that I realized as soon as I you know I started reading Indian authors, and I enjoyed it. And I was like, "Me, abhi tak kyun kyun sir foreign authors hi padhe hi." Correct. There is so much of comfort, familiarity when they talk about the place, about the food, about mm-hmm. relationship. Ah, uh, there is somebody see here is says there is a reader here with us. So send hey, us to reader. Yes, I am forgetting her name, but she is a very good reviewer. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Great. Um. Yes, uh, we were talking about my book. Did we lose her again? Uh, please let me know in the comments. Did we lose her? Did we lose Aparna again? because i have been unable to see her anyway so i am not realizing whether uh, she is here or not nilshri uh, is she not not visible to you guys also then i'll invite her again can you see aparna okay let me invite her and then please stay tuned we were having a wonderful conversation with aparna uh, there was some issue with the connectivity yes yes i have invited her again uh, please stay tuned there is probably some connectivity issue and we lost her I have invited her. Okay. Um. Hi, Aparna. If you are here with us again, I have sent you another invitation. Can you accept it and rejoin the live? Instagram is being villainous again. Please stay connected. whoever is with us please stay connected because the conversation is not yet over oh yes hi hi abarna are you here yes yes i am here and i could 
आई कुड रीड एवरीबडी इज कमेंट यार नताशा इज टेलिंग वी लॉस्ट हर मतलब मेरे को लगता है वो में गेट मैं ओ इंस्टा एंड एंड इट्स ग्लिचेस मैं जिंदा हूं बट एवरीबडी इज सेइंग शी इज गॉन वी हैव लॉस्ट हर ओ माय गॉड दैट्स सो फनी इस बार कुछ नया नया ग्लिच आया है गेट हर कोई नया फीलिंग Okay, uh, Anamika is asking us, does the weather have a role in it? In this, okay, you would have to elaborate a little more on that, Anamika. I. That this is my coming and going. She is asking. <laughs> okay, I thought she is asking a question related to the questions we are answering. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, okay. Of words and blues, I think her name is Monica, right? Yeah. Of words and blues is Monica. Ha ah, yes, so Monica is asking me. Meanwhile, Manali, tell us about your book and your writing on general. Which genre do you like? Okay, so I uh, generally write romance. I have written nine books. All of them are available on Amazon Kindle Unlimited, and uh, eight of them are available as paperback. So you can check them out. Uh, my writing, you can call it slice of life. Uh, all my poetry, my short fiction, and long form fiction, they are all slice of life stories. And the two novels that I have written are. from com okay moving and monica, on for you monica for you they are also there are many stories which are based in mumbai so whenever you feel that you are missing mumbai you can read manali stories <laughs> thank you thank you so much anamika is surprised she is asking nine and there are three four question marks after it yes i have written nine books i had matlab you don't tell the things to us yaar here two book ho gaye to i feel i'm done i want a lifetime achievement award now <laughs> oh yes thank you sentrance reader love and melodrama is my favorite she sings love and melodrama for those of you who don't know that's my second novel and it's a romcom uh, is it oh. is it it is available on kindle right yes yes all my books are available on kindle unlimited you can if you are uh, a subscriber of kindle yes. unlimited yes. unlimited you can read them for free okay manali we now quickly come to our rapid fire round uh because as uh, nilashree has before, said that we are that. behaving karan johar we are karan johar minus the uh, coffee hamper <laughs> so no before uh, that i uh, i would like to ask you to read out from your favorite story from my book acha you want me to read that first okay yes so um manali story is very good knowing which story you enjoyed the most so please <laughs> Now that story is uh, mystic, uh, mystic musings. Name mystic bungalow. Wala, see, I don't remember the name oh, and uh, okay. uh, title, but I remember the essence of the story. So that is called uh, the mystic something. Wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, we also have Siddharth, Siddharth here, and <laughs> he is questioning my uh, genre specification for my novel. He is saying, is it rom com? Some mm-hmm. people would call it tragedy. Who's this? Who's this? Siddhant. Siddhant is also a dear friend and a book reviewer. So he has read the book, and uh, uh, him and a few other readers are in contention. They are always arguing about whether that book can really be called a rom com or a tragedy because it has an unexpected ending. For that, you will have to read the book. I can't give you spoilers. This is not tragedy, yar. Is this Siddhant not married? <laughs> he does not know there exists. No, he is not. Calling it tragedy, he calls it rom com. But other people who have read it with him and they are also in the reader group, they call it tragedy. And he is always trying to tell them, "Ye rom com hai, tragedy nahi hai." <laughs> good for your reading, soul Siddharth, that you are spreading good word about writers. <laughs> Aparna is donning the Jimmy's role. Please listen. Remember the name of the story that is that mystic what mystic something. Yes, I uh, I don't remember the uh, story. I remember always remember the songs first. Anyway, I think yeah, that uh, song, that uh, song, you know, Tujaha, Jaha, Nilika. My shadow will follow. You. That's the story. Yes, yes, ha, yeah, I, that's the story. Story titles are translated from their Hindi songs. <laughs> so, <laughs> Tujaha, Jaha, Chalega is. If you translate it in English, it becomes my shadow will follow you. But the name of that um, 
place where they stay i think ah, mistake that, something that mistake yes so here is it uh, yeah so i'm reading a small passage manali if i could read i could read an entire story like uh, shankar mahadevan breathless but i'm going to take pauses and read it because our stories are short so you know i don't want to reveal much but just create uh, yeah and okay. that i'm not singing yaar matlab okay. tension mat lo okay. <laughs> so you are okay we have one more person here who loved that story siddhan so, has also read the book some... yeah please continue sorry yeah, yeah. no sneha turned the page with heightened anticipation suddenly she heard a faint sound and looked up my dear she had imagined it she shrugged it off and went back to karen's discovery jo kabhi mujhe yaad kare jo behenge tere aansu it's a long song there is a song there okay there was no mistaking it it this time she jumped up from the bed in alarm was someone out there in the hallway to chicken to actually open their door and step out sneha stuck her ear to the door she heard the sound of anklets and a chill ran down her spine rooted to the spot sneha cursed herself for being such a scary cat if not she would have confronted the person or ghost on the other side and given them in your phone sneha glued her ear closer to the door wait this was no lata mangeshkar the voice was definitely melodious but it didn't seem like the original track she was about to go on tiptoe and sneak a peek from the eye hole when she felt a hand on her shoulder <laughs> I think we should stop there because people have to keep guessing whether it was a ghost or what is happening. <laughs> what is happening? Yes. So then they feel that hand on the shoulder. Aage jao. Next episode, go and find out. <laughs> <laughs> so yes uh, i will fill up the audience on what has happened before also in the story so this is particular girl sneha she has gone with her husband to celebrate their anniversary to to a bed and breakfast and at night she's reading this book and she hears the song and she realizes that it's not the original song somebody is singing it and out of curiosity she's checking out who who is the singer and then suddenly this happens she fe- feels a hand on her shoulder अभी आगे क्या होता है उसके लिए बुक पढ़ो इतने पैसे में इतना ही मिलेगा एग्जैक्टली अरे क्या आपने हंस दिया ओह डोंट अज्यूम दैट डोंट अज्यूम दैट नील श्री यू डोंट नो इट कुड बी अ फ्रेंडली गोस्ट स्त्री भी तो हो सकती है सी अनामिका मैम हैज द मोस्ट एक्सपीरियंस शी सेज हस्बैंड जाग गया क्या पता हसबेंड ही गोस्ट हो ये भी तो हो सकता है क्या हसबेंड के अंदर क्या हुआ सॉरी आई डेंट हेव यू गोस्टली हसबेंड होते डरावने से नताशा ऑफ नताशा बुक शो शीविंग दैट आई रिमेम्बर द स्टोरी मनाली ओ स्त्री रक्षा करना मोने का ही सिंग ओके थैंक यू सो मच मेरी रक्षा करना क्या ही चल रहा है यहाँ पे स्त्री टू आ रही है मोनिका क्या सोच रही है कि क्या ही कर रहे हैं ये दोनों जन this was so much fun thank you so much for reading that out now we come to uh, my favorite part as you said karan johar ki tarah hum coffee hamper to nahi dekh payenge ek dusre ko minus, minus the coffee hamper minus the coffee yeah yes minus the coffee hamper so how we will do this is uh, i will ask one question and then you ask which keeps this interesting sare questions ek sath nahi ek ek karke okay okay you <laughs> saying ab ye crime patrol ho raha hai saudan rahe satak rahe ओके सो माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन थोड़े टाइम के बाद हम एसीपी प्रद्युमन भी बन जाएंगे तुम देखते जाओ यस बस देखते रहो 
अपना अपना हेम्पर बना लो मोस्ट एक्सपीरियंस वुमन यर शी नोज दैट हजबेंड कैन टर्न इन टू गोस्ट एंड यस एग्जैक्टली ओके we we are digressing so much <laughs> coming back my first question to you is uh who would you rather spend your day with would it be kashi would it be mumhi or would it be girish and why kashi always kashi because kashi reminds me of my 20 somethings she is free spirited hmm. she is venturing out so but kashi 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 ha अगर दिन बनाना है तो काशी के साथ अगर कॉन्टेम्पलेटिव मूड में बिकॉज बाहर जाना है तो आई वु से जाना है क्या एंड दैट टाइम देर वॉज अ टाइम बाहर जाना है Kashi is, uh, you know, the risk-taking, the adventurous kind of girl who I was in my twenties, which I am no more. Yeah, so if I want to spend time day with, her, with her, would be you. quite quite the experience. So yes, thank you for answering that. Your turn. Uh, Manali, what is your choice of writing? Would you prefer always writing short stories or novel? What what do you like the most? Short story writing, novel writing. तुमने सबसे अच्छा ऑप्शन दिया ही नहीं है इसमें इफ यू हैड गिवन मी दैट ऑप्शन आई ब्लाइंडली चोजन पोएट्री या आई हैव रिटन अ फ्यू पोएट्री बुक्स आल्सो आउट ऑफ दोज नाइन थ्री ऑफ देम आर पोएट्री बुक्स एंड इन फैक्ट इवन इन माय नॉवेल्स यू विल फाइंड पोएट्री पॉपिंग अप इन बिटवीन सो यस पोएट्री वुड बी समथिंग दैट आई कैन I can write very effortlessly because I've written it for the longest time. I have been writing poetry since I was a teenager. So, अभी हो गया है काफी बीस साल का एक्सपीरियंस हो गया है. So, <laughs> okay. My next question to you is: uh, Out of the places and structures that you have mentioned in the book, which again I want to highlight that they play a very important role in the flow of the story and in the development of the characters. But out of those places that you have mentioned in the story. Which one would you like to visit the most, and why? Banaras, any time Banaras. I have been to Banaras as a child, but now I want to explore it as an adult with a lot of thoughts, with lot of understanding of the place. Uh, so I want to go to Banaras uh, now as an adult after I have faced lot of things in life. Uh, I want to find answers going there, contemplate it, and especially have the Banarasi food. Which our Mr. and Mrs. Ambani have created a hype about mm. uh, during the wedding. So I want to go to Banaras. Wonderful answer. I was under the impression you might say Baknur because that's the place where you know Girish finds his purpose. Ah, Baknur like is a very dark place. Uh, Manali, I have been to Baknur. This place does exist. So mm. I know how it feels going there. पीपल हैव लॉट ऑफ स्टोरीज अबाउट बकनूर की वहां पे नो भूत प्रेत आत्मा रहते हैं हालांकि मेरे जाते हुए वो नहीं वहां पे रह पाएंगे बट आई वॉन्ट टू गो टू बनारस आई डोंट नो बट बनारस द अदर डे आई वॉज जस्ट टॉकिंग टू मॉर्निंग थोड़ा योर योर वॉइस स्टॉप्ड कमिंग इन बिटवीन आर यू यू नाउ या 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 ओके वंडरफुल यस आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बनारस हेलो हेलो डिड वी लूज कैन यू यस यस आई कैन नाउ आई कैन सो नाउ यू टोल्ड अस अबाउट योर चॉइस ऑफ राइटिंग इज योर चॉइस ऑफ रीडिंग आल्सो द सेम short stories novels poetry what is what do you like to read the most as a teenager and in my 20s mid 20s tak i was somebody who used to love reading thick books okay ab mujh mein wo patience nahi hai thick books nahi padhi jayegi mujh se mujhe choti books do jo jaldi khatam ho jaye and i will be game so 
इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट द जॉनर इज बट अगर वन फिफ्टी पेजेस में खत्म हो रही है तो मैं कोई भी जॉनर पढ़ लूंगी एक्सेप्ट नॉन फिक्शन एंड ऑफकोर्स इट हैज टू बी अ गुड बुक I I know I can understand non-fiction 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 lover lover well, have have never been a a a a a in in my my even as a child and in my 20s Kabhi I have never enjoyed unless it it is told in the form of a story like you know if it's a biography or somebody has shared anecdotes from their If Kashi had indeed found what she was looking for in Banaras, I don't want to give out spoilers. That's why I framed it like this. If she had found what she was looking for in uh, Banaras, how would the encounter go, and what would her life be like if you know that had happened? Following that encounter. Yeah. So that encounter, uh, it should have, uh, you know. if she would have found out or she she would have met the person now i will go a little ahead of what you said if she would have found the person she was searching in banaras that person would have refused to accept her uh, and you know uh, you know take, make her she what she went with an expectation that the opposite person should make her a part of his mm-hmm. life but uh, that person wouldn't have accepted her because uh, she was just a part of his job and not a uh you know part of his heart or part of his mm-hmm. life or anything like that so she wouldn't have uh, experienced it she would have faced disappointments so sometimes through this character i wanted to tell people is that sometimes we, we try to be adventurous we mm-hmm. try to do things which are not meant for us and we uh, fail miserably so sometimes you know there is there are these inner signals or nature trying to tell us don't don't mm-hmm. don't venture mm-hmm. ahead but we still go ahead and that's where we meet with severe disappointment and we fall into yes. the abysses of darkness yes. and you know guilt and you know all that so uh, kashi would have experienced that if she would have met that particular person and it is said that she has not met him mm. okay yeah our, our subconscious mostly tells us about some things that you know that wouldn't lead to good consequences for us Okay. Oh, your turn. Okay. Now, uh, Nilesh, you have read so many books, you know, and Again, uh, as you write, Manali, Manali. Sorry, sorry. Nilesh, Manali. I don't know if you are continuously commenting. No, Nilesh, I forgot. She is like an omnipresent. <laughs> <laughs> Because what is happening is that she is on my screen, and I cannot see you. Okay. Ah, right. <laughs> Got it. Uh, yeah. So. Okay. my question to you uh, manali is that uh, what are the three things that put you off in a book which three things you know disappoint you when you encounter them in a book three things acha sabse pehle to the thing that annoys me the most is a good story going bad because of uh, you know not being compelling enough when the story is very good and it's not very compelling or enticing or engaging only because it's bad language and grammar uska editing acha nahi hua hai so that's one thing that annoys me like i am completely off that author uske baad i won't probably read any of their works because potential hai tum mein but tumne wo effort nahi dala ki usko better kare that that's one thing the other thing is when i don't see character development from the first page to the last page agar main kisi character ki story pad rahi hu to i want to see their growth from the first chapter to the last chapter what what happened during the duration when i was reading their story and what kind of changes happened in them if that is not visible to me i'm gone that it's a major turn off for me and also the third part probably when you know uh, supporting characters are not given enough meat or enough importance in the life of the protagonist that also i don't like if you are showing a supporting character in their life also show ki wo supporting character ne kya role play play kiya hai main character ke story mein so yeah these three things i i completely agree with you and i hope my book has not been a disappointment in this three not years at, for you not at all in fact i want to highlight this fact that yours is one of the very rare books in, i have read in the last 4 5 years where 
I could not find even one typo or grammatical mistake. So kudos for that. <laughs> उट <laughs> and while going through that i realized ki ek bhi blue mark nahi hai ye to typical sorry teacher correcting kindle sheets <laughs> no it's also my habit because uh, i am also a freelance editor so wo editor wali nazar bhi nahi jaati hai na the editor's eyes always there when i am reading also so <laughs> correct correct and yes yeah. I also also I have experience as a teacher also so wo wo wala bhi aa jata hai uh the so, site don't do no subconscious <laughs> exactly <laughs> okay your turn i asked you no three things that for you oh, okay uh so my next question to you is out of the supporting characters one of my favorites in fact let's admit it he was my favorite i absolutely loved penki's character and he was the most intriguing one for me did you have one like that or who was it and why was that did you for also me, have a favorite it was hari for me it was hari <laughs> okay hari uh, brings a lot of entertainment uh, to that book yeah hari matlab koi bajuri nahi uska he has he has nothing but still he is there and i wanted see all characters cannot have a purpose in the story or you know i don't think that technically so mm-hmm. i felt ki hari ka character brought some light moments for my mm-hmm. characters as well mm-hmm. for mukhi he is that kind of you know punch bag ki bhai gussa aaya hari ke shop mein jao bura mm-hmm. laga hari ke shop mein jao mm-hmm. kisi ke sath jhagda ho gaya hari ke shop mein jao uske sath jhagda karo feel light come back <laughs> okay, we, we all have you know punch bags <laughs> in our life Who uh, who are equally uh, you know notorious for doing things with us also. Mm. So Hari for me was that kind of character you know. Mm. He did not play any role. He उसका कोई लेना देना नहीं था मुकी से गिरिश से but he was there in the book to entertain you. I disagree with that. <laughs> Probably he didn't play a role in the character's life, but he added character to the place where the story was taking place. He played a lot of important role in the. Uh, pol- geopolitical uh, things that were happening in belgaum and because he there is also a point where you know uh, the two communities are at tether heads with each other and what role hari plays in trying to you know bring keep a balance uh, in his business because of that so, so these so, are certain which i come to know only when readers like you tell me <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i i observe these things and uh, again i want to highlight on the part that you know location kitna important hai story ke liye this is one of the points yeah. okay manali you told us that sorry i okay i think we lost you again aparna are you here anybody in the comments can you let me know who is aparna with us if she is not here i will invite her again natasha nilshri are you guys here monica i think we lost aparna again yeah she is frozen aparna is flickering let me remove and add her again Hi Aparna, uh, I have sent you an invitation again. See if you can accept it. Are you here? Are you here, Aparna?
Okay. I'm so sorry for the glitch. Yeah, playing ghost ghost. Exactly, Anamika. She is. She's been doing that a lot today. Hi, Aparna. Can you accept the invitation? Aparna, can you let me know in the comments if you are here? Because, uh, yes, she's here. Aparna, I sent you an invitation. Were you able to receive it? Yeah, I did send you a fresh invitation. Okay, Aparna. Uh, see if you received it again. Can you send me an invitation? Let's have, let's see if that works. If something is wrong here, I am not able to invite you. Okay, I have accepted your invitation. Let's hope that works. Extremely sorry for the glitch. We were having such a wonderful conversation and in between this happened. Yeah, I accepted the invitation that you sent up or now, but wo bhi kaam nahi kar raha. Okay, I'm sending you an invitation again. Please see if it works. I don't know what to do now. Yes, I can uh, see your comment, Anamika, but I'm still unable to add Aparna to the live. Okay. Uh, does anyone have any idea how we can resolve this? Uh, Aparna, can you do one thing? Uh, you might be seeing a cross at the end of your right hand side screen. Press on that, leave the live and come back. Probably that will work. Exit the live and rejoin. I will send you an invitation again. AT's phone call, yes. <laughs> Instagram is not allowing me to add you. Okay. I am sending you invitation again, Aparna. See if you can accept it. Probably we will have to end the episode here because it's just not happening. We were anyway towards the end of the episode. I 
it's it's just not happening i'm not able to send you the request and even when i'm sending it i don't think you are receiving it uh, uh so can you confirm if you are receiving my request because i've just sent it out aparna if you are here can you tell me if uh, you have received my request if not i will end this episode now because we were anyway towards the end of the episode okay i am not sure how to resolve this so i am probably going to end the episode here now i had one question remaining which was uh, a scene or character or a chapter that you had that was particular dif- particularly difficult for you to write which was the remaining question that i had for you uh, but we can address that separately because this is not happening okay thank you everyone uh, yeah uh thank you so much anamika for joining us uh we have to end the episode here now it was an absolutely wonderful conversation that i had with aparna you can check out both of our books on kindle uh on kindle and uh, the uh, aparna's book is also available as a paperback so do check it out it's a novel uh titled labyrinth of silence and we were talking about it do check it out on amazon and also check out my book heart strings and harmonies and that is also available on amazon but that one is only available as a paperback as a uh, in the, as an ebook so do check it out thank you for joining us i will see you again on next friday with a new author thank you everyone bye natasha bye monica bye aparna and thank you everyone bye